Hello kids, in the last video we looked at what scratch programming is. Uh, we also understood what a sprite is and how we can add multiple sprites. And we also looked at how we can add a backdrop in our project. And at the end we made a small code in which once we click the green flag button our sprite moved 50 steps forward and a message of welcome to class was displayed on our screen for 2 seconds. In this project, we'll understand what code is and how does a computer execute that. And we'll also look more deeply into the coding blocks. And at the end, we'll see how we can save our project. So let's start with what a code is. So code is basically set of instructions that we give to our computer. And once the computer receives those instructions, the computer executes them one by one. So if we look at our coding screen, in this case we have given our computer three instructions. The first instruction is when we click the green flag button, our sprite should move 50 steps and then it should say welcome to class for two seconds. So in this case we have given three instructions and once the computer receives those, it will execute them one by one. The second thing we need to look at is what basically the color of the blocks are. So if we look at different categories and we can see that all these categories have different colors. Uh, so if we look at motion, we have blue color assigned to it. The looks have purple color, the events have orange color. So it will be really useful in our future project because then we could simply identify which coding block represents which category. The other thing we need to understand is that not every coding block is draggable to the other coding block below of it. So if we look at this when this sprite click coding block, it's not necessary that we could add other coding blocks above it. So let's take the move 10 steps block. Now we can see that the move 10 steps cannot be dragged above it and it cannot be attached above it. And the reason is because there are some blocks in scratch programming which are used only once and at the first time. But there are other coding blocks which we can use every time and it could also be attached to other coding blocks. So if we look at this move 10 steps and if we try to drag it below the when this sprite click block, we can see that there is a gray area and this gray area basically means that the move 10 steps block can be attached to the sprite click block. And we can also see that there is a small area which also allows it to attach it at the bottom of it. So we'll also later on understand how to work with all of these coding blocks. For now, let's save our project. So if we need to save our project, what we need to do is we need to first sign in. And once you see your username at the top of the screen, you first have to give your project a name. In this case, we'll give them a project. And once we give the name, we can click the save now button. And once the project is saved, you can also open it by clicking this folder. And in your My Stuff library, you can see that a project is saved. And if you need to open it again, you can simply click the See Inside button. And you'll again see all your coding progress at the screen. So this is it for the video. In the next video, we'll learn about X and Y axis, which are really important for scratch programming. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.